Hey guys, welcome and welcome back. We are going to go out to the east and work on Solomon's Law. David, Monica, Patrick, Mendy, thank you guys for coming back. I appreciate it. When I lose a character, I like to just keep playing. I like to keep playing. <clears throat> that way, like, I can't think about it too much. And uh, it can just kind of like seep in over a longer course of time. When I would die in the recorded series, I used to go take a nap. But it's more enjoyable just to keep playing the game. Class, welcome back. I'm like, yeah, big, big oof. <laughs> Yeah, I, I kind of thought, like, I thought, it, it was stupid, I, it was dumb. I shouldn't have thought at all. I should have, I should have said, this looks sketchy, let me bail out here. Uh, instead I was like, well, the boat is moving, and we haven't fallen out yet. And so I, I thought it would be okay. It was obviously a, a stupid thought. If you find yourself stuck in a boat, just get out of it before the boat zones. It's pretty easy not to die in that scenario. But you know, that's it's a hardcore death, right? It's like it's the personification of a stupid hardcore death. So I don't I don't mind it in that sense. I also had twenty-three gold. I'm more I'm I'm just as upset about the twenty-three gold. <laughs> yeah, it's what's the worst that could happen? I knew what the worst was that could happen. The <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. Yeah, F's to the gold, right? Exactly. Ah, uh, okay. So yeah, here we are. We're gonna we're gonna play the warrior for the rest of the day. But I have to think about like you know the warrior. I, I liked having two characters to get them rested. So what what are we gonna roll up in place of the paladin? I would like it to be a dwarf. What dwarf are we gonna roll up to replace the paladin? That's the question we have to answer right now. Not right now, but today. At the, at the end of the stream, we will make the character that will replace the Pally in the rotation. Dwarf Priest, yeah, I got the human- I haven't been digging the Priest, man. Honestly, like, there was a time when I was in love with the Priest, and I still think it's an amazing class for Hardcore. I just haven't been into it. I have the human Priest that I just, like, I don't really want to play it. I don't know why, I don't know what's wrong with me. I was, think I was thinking about a Hunter or a Rogue. I was thinking hunter or rogue. Yeah, I know, David. I kind of feel that way. Like, I get it. I just don't know why. Because I, I played the human for a couple of recorded episodes, the human priest, and I just, like, I just really wasn't digging it. So, yeah, I, it's, I think it's down to hunter, hunter or rogue. And we're, we're going to... I think we want to do a... I, I got to do a dwarf. I got I to... Gotta, I got to have a dwarf in the rotation now. I feel like a rogue would be really fun. I, I obviously know that a hunter would be more survivable, but, but well, listen, it's more survivable, but listen, I just died on a boat. <laughs> so like, I can't think about survivability, because I, I was playing the most survivable class and I got killed on a boat. So yeah, I, I know the hunter would be better, like, for survivability. But I just, I don't know. The rogue, the rogue would be a lot of fun. We lost the human rogue, you know. So, like, the new rogue would probably die the same way. M maybe a hunter. Yeah. Yeah, Pally, Pally died on a boat. <laughs> uh, it's fine. It's fine. All, all that I care about is having the opportunity to hang out with you guys and play the game. It sucks, it sucks that, that she died, but... It's gonna, it's gonna be okay. It's gonna be fine. When one journey ends, another journey begins. <laughs> Pelly went down, struggling for breath. 
just struggling to breathe. Didn't didn't know that. That's how you would go out too. You'd be fine. You'd battle all these things and fight through all this, and then you would drown in the middle of the ocean after falling off a boat. Like that's as real as it gets. Is that not as real as it gets? To g to go through everything the Pally went through, <laughs> to fight all the battles that she fought, to clear all the dungeons that she cleared. Like obviously she'd fall off a boat and drown in the middle of the ocean with no one even around to hear her scream. Like, cause that's how, that's how you go out. It's, that's real life. In real life, you just die falling off a boat. Same thing in hardcore. The chaps were heavier than they looked. I liked at first she was taking like one damage, one damage, and I was like, this is gonna be fine. And then it was 300 damage, 300 damage. I, ah, oh, it's not, it's not fine. It's as bad as I thought. Do I want Guildmaster on this on this warrior, Alex? I I, I mean, you, you could just you could at least promote me up. As long as I can kick people who have not been playing in the past eleven days or more, then I'm fine. I don't I don't need I, I don't need I'm, I'm I'm obviously not fit. I'm not fit to GM a hardcore guild, so I'll take guild lead back when I get a character to sixty. Oh god. <laughs> Running into a hyperspawn camp is not the way to get the 60. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we're, so, so we're going to do another dwarf because I, I at this point I have to have a dwarf in the rotation. And it's just about hunter, hunter or rogue. What a dumb way to go, Marlena. Absolutely. Yeah, exactly. What a dumb way to go. Only I could get killed that way. Yep, I earned it. Any normal person would have just like bailed off of the boat back in uh, Booty Bay and just swam back to the dock and got on the boat proper. Any normal person would have done that. Especially considering the stakes, you know? I was just like, eh, it'll probably be okay. You, you guys aren't going to help me decide this at all. <laughs> In a little while, we'll do a poll, and then I will I will probably do the opposite of how the poll comes out. But in a little while, we'll do a poll. And by the end of this stream, I want to have created the character. Especially if I also just get this warrior killed right now, then we're definitely gonna go create the character right now. Okay, that's fine. I don't I don't want to use a potion, so I'm, I'm trying not to use the potion. I ideally we oh shit. This is not my day. <laughs> clearly Clearly this is not my day. Okay, we got a couple of the really nasty poisons on us. I'm sure that's gonna work out just fine. I I'm sure that's gonna just eat through all of our HP that we have left. 136, 154, we're regenning, we're regenning health, that's good. <laughs> Shit. Okay. All right. On second thought. <laughs> On second thought. Um. <laughs> give, give me a minute. Okay. Yeah. On second thought, we're not. We're not doing this. And so, like, I don't have enough people in here right now for a proper poll. So let, let's just consider our options. Yeah, like I'm not I'm not getting this character killed too. So we're we're not we're not doing that. I'm not I'm not getting I'm not getting both my higher level characters. Higher level characters. I'm not getting them both killed today. That is absolutely not gonna be the story of my Halloween. So Yeah, low stakes new character time. Emulations has it exactly right. Low stakes, new character time. Yep, let's just, let's not talk about it, let's just get into it. Because I, I really don't want the warrior to die. I'm really digging the warrior, and I don't want her to die. And so we are definitely not doing that. Yeah, I, I think I, I think I'll probably go hunter. Yeah, I, I think, I think I might go hunter.
I think I'm gonna go Hunter. I, I have the Human Priest and I, I haven't really been wanting to play it. I, I don't know why. I, I haven't really been wanting to play the Priest. I, I think it's like, I'm, I, I don't know. I don't know what it is. I, I, I won't speculate. Um, I need my character map. Let me do this. Boop. Okay, so that's fine. We're gonna go Hunter, I think. That's what we're gonna do. Okay, also I need to uh, change a couple things here. I need to... Uh, I need to change the thumbnail really quick. Sorry guys, bear with me. I need to, uh, I need to pull a thumbnail out of my ass here. And get the thumbnail changed and updated. Let's let's get our girl created and logged in. I think I think this is good. I, I think that's what I'm gonna go with. Hmm. Yep. name is unavailable. Well, that's lame. Uh, do I need the other E? There we go. Okay. Let me get her logged in. I can't. <laughs> I'm incapable of making a body type A. I can't do it. And I especially can't do it because I have to generate YouTube comments about how I won't do it. So let me let me snag a, uh, a thumbnail shot here. You have no bow? There's, oh, that's a gun. Oh, that's cool. All right. Let me put together a new thumbnail really quick and then we will get going. Mm, let's see. See a little a little inside baseball here. Let's change that. Uh, I need I need the hunter green color. Let me see if I can go out there on the internet and find Wow Hunter Green. Boop. Ah, uh, that is not Hunter Green. Apparently, like the class colors are now suddenly hard to find. There we go, that's what I want. Oh boy. We have a barking dog problem. Ah, uh, that was not the right color, was it? I'm sorry. You guys can you guys can look at the game would probably be better for you. <laughs> Just stare at the flowers while I struggle. I probably already have like a hardcore hunter template just like chilling somewhere. I should probably have dug that out. Okay, there we go. That's the proper color.
Okay. There we go. Almost done. Now I need to change the name of the stream. Let's go do that. Let's do... Dwarf Hunter. Okay, there we go. Stream title changed, thumbnail updated. Uh, now we can play the game. Sorry, guys. <laughs> uh, that was a, that was a long, tedious pivot that I put you through just now. Safe travels. And I am sorry about it. Uh, but I, I could see which direction the wind was blowing, and I really did not want to get our our warrior killed. So here we are. Why am I not auto attacking? There we go. All right, yeah, figuring out figuring out my max range always a struggle on the hunter. Thank you, Alex. I appreciate it. Turn the music up a little bit here. I mean, I mean, think about it this way. This is the this is the silver lining. Is think about all the loin cloths we're gonna be able to wear. Think about all of the loin cloths. Spirit agility gear. Gotta love it. Gotta have it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to run out of ammo all the time. I, I have to stay on top of this. Um, should we should we do engineering? Should we do the hardest profession in the entire game? <laughs> should we do engineering? Would it benefit us? Jamal, good afternoon. Electron, good afternoon to you also. Carnifexia, hello, welcome to the stream. Oh, my God. 
Yeah, I, I really just don't- I don't want to do herbalism skinning again. Maybe we will do mining engineering. It would have been nice to have that 23 gold we died with so I could buy copper on the auction house with it. That would have been super nice. Say thank you. I appreciate that. Thanks for being here. We can make ourselves ammo as an engineer. Yes, that is good because I'm bound to run out of ammo very often. So the ability to make it on the fly would be good. Isn't there like a special like, can't you make yourself like a headpiece as an engineer that, that only an engineer can wear? I thought there was something like kind of special about like being a hunter and also being an engineer. But maybe I'm making stuff up. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, 58 more levels to go. Absolutely. We're, we're basically like halfway there. Yeah. For sure. <laughs> the goggles, goggles and scopes. Okay. Uh, goggles and scopes sound awesome. I can get a headpiece early on. Yeah, I often see people walking around with goggles and stuff. That could be cool. Hi. See you soon. Off with you. Watch your back. Off with you. No! Keep your feet on the ground! The scopes are extra hit? Oh, that's cool. I won't, uh, yeah, Blood Moon, I won't need to tank or heal. I, I won't, I won't be able to tank or heal is the best part. Yeah. I, I can just, like, solicit myself as a DPS. And as, as a hunter DPS, people are bound to actually want me in the group, you know? As opposed to, like, a warrior DPS or a pally DPS. Like, as a hunter, people might actually want me in their groups. What can I do for ya? Watch your back. See you soon. You so got that's my cool. attention. Track Beast. Uh, okay. Safe travels. Let's vendor. Well met. Safe travels. What's on your mind? See you soon. I, I like the pigtail physics whenever we raptor strike or when we uh, when we flop around. Ni nice 2004 pigtail physics. They're quite bouncy. E even like the recoil of the gun makes them bounce, which is nice. Yeah, I'm talking about the pigtails, by the way.
Yeah, I think I'll either get a bear or a boar. I, I, do bears have charge? I think I need the boar for charge. I need to at least tame up to like a level 10 boar so I can have charge. That'll probably be the first thing I do. Is to get a boar for charge. And once we learn charge, we can kind of just go from there. The bear can't learn charge in classic? I, I thought in classic era, once we learned an ability, we could we could teach it to any pet we wanted. I, I know they don't learn it naturally, uh, but I thought once we trained it from the boar, we could then teach that ability to other types of pets. Is that not the case? Did I just think that the, that the classic uh, pet ability system was really cool and it's not really cool? Because, yeah, I, I thought once we learned certain things, we could teach them to pets that normally would not have the ability to do that. I, I, I gotta have charge, so... Hmm. That's weird, I don't know why I had that thought. I guess I gave it a lot more credit. <laughs> well, okay. Hmm. I mean, I guess I don't need charge, but it, it takes so long for pets to run in. I, I hate standing back and waiting while the pet runs in. So, yeah, I, I might have to get a boar. We might, we might have to travel with a slab of bacon. What's on your mind? Off with you. Watch your back. Be good. Talk to me. Off with you. Engineers make their own guns. I, I would prefer to use a gun o over any other form of ranged weapon, so that's cool. I mean, I'm sure there will be times when, like, a bow drops and we have to use a bow. I'm, I'm gonna have to go to Darnassus to learn bows, aren't I? Please tell me I don't have to go to Darnassus to learn bows. Please tell me I don't have to go to Darnassus to learn bows. We have to go to Darnassus to learn bows, don't we? We're, we're not gonna be learning bows until we can do the wetlands run safely. Like, I'm not, I'm not doing that. Yeah, then we're probably we're, we're not using a bow for a long time. Uh, because yeah, I I'm not going out to uh, I'm not doing the wetlands run until I can do wetlands. So it's kind of silly. I feel like if you're a hunter, you should become you should start versed with a bow and a gun, and crossbows should really be the only like supplemental thing that you have to learn. Leo, you don't like the sound of the gun? That's fair. I mean, I, I keep my SFX down pretty low. I, I could see that maybe if it was up super high, it would get a million. Yeah. I could see that. Windle, thanks, man. I appreciate that. It, it was a stupid way to die. Like all of my hardcore deaths, I, I did it to myself by not being a thoughtful enough human being. I, I could have thought for like a little bit more and just realized that I should probably have jumped off the boat like back in Booty Bay. And just went up the dock and got back on the boat, it would have been fine, you know.
<laughs> David, I agree. Uh, yeah, definitely. The, the hair graphics are, are really unique on this character. Yeah, I really dig the uh, the, the hair physics, I guess. I, I don't know if there's like anything else quite like it. I know that sometimes like when you're a caster, it like lifts your hair. Like while you're casting, your hair kind of has a float to it. But, the, but these things are like just constantly in motion. It's impressive. It's not orange. It's it's actually brown. Yeah, it, it's hard to tell in the shadows, but the but the hair is actually uh, just a normal chestnut brown color. It's not it's not orange at all. <laughs> I almost went with an orange, but I decided not to at the last minute. <laughs> Good so far. I have heard that thing. Yeah, I have, I have heard that. Strafing between auto shots will let you get more shots in overall. Yeah. I, uh, I, I've been told this thing before. It's something that I get told repeatedly anytime I play a hunter. And all I can say is that I'm probably not really going to do it a lot. In Wrath of the Lich King, when like the dead zone was uh, was reduced, it's it, it's easier to do that, and I saw so I do that a little bit when I play my Wrath Hunter. But when I play my uh, Vanilla Hunters, I, I don't I don't usually do that. It just it, it probably just annoys people, and uh, but it's okay because it's like a trade off because me not doing it annoys people, but also people are going to tell me that over and over and over again. So I, I appreciate it. 
But just no, just expect that I probably won't do a lot of that. <laughs> Johnny, thanks, man. Yeah, it, it's a tough one. I, I did it to myself. The stupidest hardcore death you could possibly imagine. You got my Falling attention. off of a boat in the middle of the ocean. It's, it's how a person dies in real life, you know? You do all sorts of incredible things. You kill all kinds of bosses. You, you get all kinds of loot. You think you're good, uh, and then one day you just fall off a boat in the middle of the ocean and you drown. Big because good. that's what happens. It, it's as hardcore as it gets, basically. Yeah, it does suck, but what can you do, you know? Stuff happens, and then you can either cry about it or you can go again. And I choose to just go again. It was worse than the uh, elevator boss. <laughs> yeah. Probably. It was, more draw it was more drawn out than the elevator boss. And you guys didn't get to see the elevator boss. It just, the elevator happened off stream. It wasn't even recorded. Uh, but yeah. It, like, the elevator boss, it was like, it happened really quick, you know? This, I knew, it was like, we knew it was gonna happen. It was a long time of knowing that we weren't gonna make it. Yeah, this, at least this time you guys got to watch it, yeah. Like, listen, it sucks. But it's okay. At the same time, it's okay. Maybe it's time to move back to the horde side of life. Nah, I don't think so. How are you? Nah, I, I gotta have my dwarf in the rotation. Keep your feet That's on all. the ground. See you soon. Someday, we, someday we might go back to the horde side, but like I don't know. I, I like horde side for Wrath of the Lich King. Keep your feet on and the I ground. And I think like I'm, I'm an alliance Andy when it comes to classic Great era. To meet you. Watch your back. Uh, we got the scalding um, brew delivery. Let's go do this one. We can train level four stuff. Yeah, one level before the mount, the Curse of Halloween. Yeah, and the thing is, I almost lost the uh, the warrior too. I got, we got on the warrior, and then we almost died on that. And so, yeah, like we're doing what we're doing right now is the best thing that we could possibly do. Because I, I definitely can't afford to lose two characters on Halloween. Uh, that would be that'd be the worst. Because then that would be like all I remember when I think about Halloween now is going to be how I lost that pally. <laughs> And if I were to lose, like, two characters on the same day, then that, that, that memory would probably never go away. So, yeah. Well met! Be good. What's on your mind? See you soon. <laughs> Johnny, we can't, can't blame, you gotta blame me. You just gotta blame the guy at the keyboard. Yeah, I did it. Ammo, Andy, thank you. Yes, I will get some ammo before we head back out. I appreciate the reminder. Pleased to meet you, off and away. Great to meet you. Safe travels. Off with you. Watch your back. See you soon. Marshall, we are, le we are level four. <laughs> we are in our infancy here. Uh, my trainer is... My trainer is somewhere. Oh, no. 
Questy is uh, Questy is tracking the wrong trainer. <laughs> Questy is still tracking the Paladin trainer. I, I wonder how I'm gonna get that fixed. What can I do for ya? Ah, uh, Serpent Sting, yes. Aspect of the Monkey, okay. Fine, Save I'll take travels. it. I don't really want it, but I'll take it anyway. Uh, I need to get some more action bars up. Action bars... And we need to buy ammo. Uh, which we can do somewhere, probably outside at the general goods guy. That's what I would assume. Leo, that's scary, man. Patrick, you think a reload will fix it? I I'm willing to try. Snap. I, you know, it's because the name is the same. It's because I named it exactly the same name. That's why it grabs it and holds on to it like that. What's on your mind? Safe travels. All right, we should be good on ammo for a while now, I think. good so far i appreciate it man it seems like an unfair way to go no that's the thing man is it's like it's completely on me i was the idiot who said it's okay to travel in the armpit of the boat a lot of people in that situation probably would have bailed out back in uh, booty bay you know if i were asmin i would be screaming at me like why am i not bailing out back in booty bay and just swimming back on and going around getting on the boat i i convinced myself that it was going to be fine but I, I should have erred Great on the side of caution, you. so like, I don't know, I think it's totally fair. Off with you. It'd be like if I went on a cruise, right? If I went on a See cruise and I, was, and I decided I wanted to hang from the railing of the ship, and then I fell off the cruise boat and I died. Like, people be like, yeah, that was a dumb thing to do, and he got what he deserved. And that was kind of what this was like. <laughs> I think, I, I think, I, I appreciate your guys' sympathy. I think that most people, like, external to the community, would see me die in that way and just be like, dude, this guy is an idiot. He got what he deserved. And they're, and they're not wrong. They'd be completely right with that sentiment. So, <laughs> I was the guy clinging onto the side of the boat, you know, in the middle of the ocean. Like, when I fall off and drown, like, no one's going to be surprised and no one is going to feel particularly bad for me, you know? I wanted to take a little joy ride on the outside of a boat. Irfan, thank you, man. I appreciate it. Thank you, guys. You'd, you'd think you'd hold on and ride it all the way in, but but it, what in real life, what would happen is your hands would get sweaty from nervousness and you'd slip. You, you'd be completely convinced, like, yeah, I can hold on to this boat all the way until we dock. I got this. Uh, but then you, your hands would get sweaty. You'd get super nervous that you'd be hitting waves you didn't expect as you approached the, the shore. The, the, the choppiness would get more and more and more. And eventually you'd slip and you'd fall and you'd drown. Sucked under the boat. Spit out by the engines. And uh, everyone would be like, yeah. Uh, right. That's what you get. 
I don't think I want to go in this cave yet. No, I think I think I don't want to go in that cave yet. Let's see, what else am I doing? I can get the other items, and I can kill trolls on the outsides of the cave. That's probably going to be a better idea. It did look safe at the start, go so yeah, good so far. You're right, because what happened was like when we left when we left the first dock, and I didn't fall off. I thought, okay, cool. You know, I, I thought like I thought if we were gonna fall off, any motion of the boat would do it. But what happened was we zoned. <laughs> we zoned, and something about how we were connected to the world changed. We, we were lashed to the world in a different way, and then the boat was no longer holding on to us. So, and, and I should have, I, I, as a player who's played the game for so long, I, I should have expected wonky behavior upon us zoning over uh, to Duratar. I should have expected that, you know. We could have a memorial service. <laughs> awesome. No, I don't. I don't feel too bad. You know, I'll, I'll feel. I'll feel a little bit bad for the rest of the day, and then I'll be over it. it, it it's 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 nice to be able to just keep playing the game. <laughs> and hanging out with you guys. Oh dear. I, I think I'm just gonna leash him. Oh, well, we got, we got a serpent sting on him. I, I just can't get any range for like an auto attack. That that big dead zone. What's what's my range? Uh, let's see, eight to thirty-five yards. So once they're within eight yards of us, we, we can't shoot them anymore, which is difficult. I guess when we have a pet, it won't matter. Johnny, you're gonna miss the legards. Yeah, we'll get we'll get loincloths and stuff. It'll be okay. There will be a way forward. It might not be with legards, but it might be with loincloths. We'll have to see. <laughs> Blood Moon. That's a good question. They they might just get returned to sender. Cause I don't think they can. I don't think they'd be able to mail cross uh, server. Yeah, they they do, Johnny. They get returned to sender. Yeah, that makes sense. They're probably they're probably really good bags too. I, I don't even know if this character deserves those bags yet. We'll have to see. She has to at least get the level 10. <laughs> she has to at least get the level 10. And with guys like this creeping up on us, like who knows if it's gonna happen. 
Yeah, see, it, man, in classic, you can't even get enough range to turn around and like fire like a quick shot off most of the time. Like, yeah, we didn't even get an auto attack off. So much harder to kite and shoot them in classic era. Concussion shot will help. Joey, good afternoon. Welcome to the stream. Klaus, have a good night, man. Take care. See you next time. See you soon. Safe travels. Yeah, the, the hunter, the hunter is a little rough without the pet. Uh, yeah, priority has to be on like hitting ten and getting the pet like ASAP, pretty much. Yeah, that should be the goal. Let's uh, let's see if we can do that.
unfortunately, a lot of the quests in Dunmoro, they're not super easy without a pet. Because they're tuned for classes that are, like, complete. Even though the class is low level, they're tuned for, like, classes that are complete. The hunter isn't really complete at any point without the pet. Kind of like a rogue before they can dual wield, but a little bit worse. Hey! You have a great day now. You got my attention? Watch your back. Druid 1 to 10 is worse. Yeah, Druid 1 to 10 is is worse than the Hunter. So the, the Hunter is pretty bad. But the Druid is the worst, yeah. <laughs> Druid 1 to 10 is the, the, the single worst thing that I can imagine. The big the big dead zone sucks. Yeah, the, the dead zone makes it so you can't you can't really kite shoot, kite shoot, you can't do it. Not once they're on you. Once they're on you, you might get lucky enough to get off a serpent sting, but you're not gonna be able to constantly like flip around and shoot the way you can in like Wrath of the Lich King. In Wrath you can like kite them, shoot, 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 and you can keep going. So it make, it makes some things a little bit easier. It's not gonna happen in the classic era. Until we get like concussion shot, I guess, could slow them down enough that maybe we could do that. The Blood Moon. Thank you. No, I didn't. I never went in the cave. <laughs> I never went. I was like, we're level five. Let's get out of here. I didn't go in the cave at all. No. I, I initially avoided the cave and then I never went back for the item. Thank you for catching me before I ran all the way to Karanos. That would have been embarrassing. Let's kill some things on the way. I was looking at the level, like we're level 5 in a bit, I thought, oh, we're heading over to the next area. I wasn't even looking at my quest log at all. No Fs were given about the quest log. I just started thinking about my pet. Like, I need my pet, I need my pet, I need my pet, I need my pet. That's all that I had on my, on my mind. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I really did want to get out of here. I was ready to move on to Karanos because that's where I get my pet. Did I mention that I really want to get my pet? <laughs> Inner Nightmare, welcome, man. Ah, uh, the Paladin died today, man. My the the Warrior's getting rested still, <laughs> but the the Paladin, well, she died. In a very embarrassing manner. If you're interested, you should check out the last uh, couple minutes of the VOD that went up a bit ago. Yeah. I'll, I'll, I should put a comment up. Pally is dead. Long live the dwarf. Check the VOD for the ending. Yeah, I should, I should put a comment up. I'll do dead D E D. Ellie is dead. Long live the dwarf. There we go. We will pin that to the top.
I think we leased the other one. Pretty sure we're fine. I'm trying to do the strafe, man. I'm trying. You see how well it works when I have line of sight issues also. Like, the line of sight issues, it doesn't work. This guy's gonna cast at me, so this guy... Uh, I should not run away from him. Yeah, I'm, I'm, try I'm trying to learn the strafe. We'll see. I, I don't... I don't know if it's gonna work out, but... A cave is probably not the best place to practice it, to be fair. But I'm trying to get in, like, some more shots. Because, uh, not having the pet to tank him is really rough. I'm worried that, like, no matter what I do here, I'm gonna pull this guy. Um, are you a novice? You are a novice. Let's try to pull him, just him back. Uh, I don't want- I can't fight the name guy at the same time. So, I'm gonna have to, like, try to kite this guy while keeping his interest. Like, he, he needs to want to kill me. Yeah, this is, uh, not exactly what you'd like to see. I, I need the drop of the name guy, essentially. It just, it doesn't seem like he's gonna drop is the only problem. Wait, did he drop? He didn't drop. Shit. Okay. Oh, okay, this guy's got him. I, ha I have to help this guy. What a nightmare. <laughs> so, rogue? What a nightmare. Now he's back on us? Oh god. Oh, <laughs> snap. Oh. We're alive. Thanks to this guy. It, it, apparently that guy was never gonna leash. Yeah, I mean, we're level 5, we're already having close calls. Sounds like a fun time. We, d we did not get credit for him, so we, we just have to clear it to him and do it all again. Yeah, that's all. <laughs> we just gotta do it all again. No, not a big deal. I I'm sure it's gonna be better this time, right? Yeah, maybe, maybe we don't end up doing this. Yeah, it's a hard force to pull, exactly. Like, we, like, we can't do anything about it. Oh, I should have focused down the named guy, then I could have tried to run from the other guy. All I can hope now is that they spawn back in separately, and I can grab them one at a time. That's really the only hope that we have of completing this one. Is that they spawn back in separately. Yeah, they're all back up. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Every single one of them is back up. Him and his buddy are back up. So yeah, it's the same exact situation we just we just left. So yeah, I mean, all I can really think to do is to focus fire him. We're gonna get this guy no matter what. Okay, shit. I gotta. I have to at least clear this guy. Is it just me, or did the caster not come with this guy? So when we when we pulled the caster, they both came at us. When we pulled this guy, the caster ignored it, and this guy came all on his own. Uh, okay. So focus fire this guy from range. He will run right past his buddy. He will not get help. Uh, and you can just pull him solo. Yeah, I, I don't understand what the difference was. We, we shot the other guy last time. He stood there and started to cast. And he aggroed the name guy. Okay, well that worked out. Because uh, yeah, it seemed like a forced two pull, but it's not. It's not at all. We just had to pull it in a way that maybe you would not think to. Because usually you'd think you'd burn down the ad first, so you'd always target the ad first. 
Right. Hey, we we learned something. It's good. Yep, write it down in your master notes. You gotta have a you gotta have a page of the notebook for each zone. That way, when you're playing in the zone, you can look to that page and you can read your hardcore notes and kind of like refresh yourself on some of the specifics of of that zone. Great to meet. Would you. be a good way to do it. Keep your feet on the ground. Be good. Keep your feet on the ground. He wants us to keep our feet on the ground. I think. Uh, I kind of want to grind out level 6, but none of these guys are really going to give me a lot of XP. The guys that were giving XP were back in the cave. So, in light of that, maybe we just move on. Sorry, the tunnel does have some mobs. They're they're like it's infested with trogs, or something. There's like two trogs. They uh, they over exaggerate a little bit with how infested it is. Be good. Ouch, Alex. Ouch. <laughs> a burn. I wasn't listening to anything the NPC has said, like, the entire game, you know, I completely ignored them. They were telling me the entire time, giving me warning after warning after warning, and I didn't listen. They said, keep your feet on the ground. How are you? Safe yeah, travels. we sunk like a rock, too, yeah. I'm sure we just went right to the bottom. See you soon. Keep your feet on the ground. Roasted. <laughs> just roasted. Honored, I'm sure. Off and away. <laughs> it's funny. I like it. <laughs> left, right, other left. I think I think I grabbed it. I grabbed it really fast. It, it, it happened real fast. I'm pretty sure I grabbed it. Let me see. Uh, yes. Yeah, I got it. Can I appeal my death? No, my death was totally my fault. I can't appeal. There's no appeals. But I, I wouldn't even think to appeal it. I, I clung onto the side of a boat while it was in motion, while we were switching zones, and I thought everything was going to be okay. Because that's what every idiot thinks when they're clinging to the side of a boat in the middle of the ocean. They think, this is fine. It's going to be okay. So no, I, I got... It's called getting what you deserve. I, I got what I deserved. I wouldn't I wouldn't I wouldn't try to dispute it even if there was a dispute process, but there isn't there isn't a dispute process anyway. I appreciate the thought though, but yeah, I just it was totally my stupid fault, you know. I have to own up to it. Yeah, like I, I got stuck in the side of the boat. I thought that since since we moved away from Booty Bay and I didn't fall off, I thought we would be okay. And I wasn't thinking about like the weird stuff that can happen once you change like instances from like Eastern Kingdoms. We we loaded over into Kalimdor. It was just my stupidity. Nothing to appeal there. Just a, a big dumb lesson to learn for a big dummy. <laughs> Uh, 
There we go, there's level six. Grab a gun from the vendor on the road. Um, with the state of my finances, I'm not going to be able to afford anything. I'll take a look at him for future reference. But yeah, I think, I think right now I'm just like I'm dead broke, you know. I'm probably talking about Rumble Shout up here. Yeah, he'll probably have some cool stuff, but we, we can't what afford. What can I get for you today? Um, well, yeah. See, he's he's got this, which would would be better, but I, I can't afford it, so. Uh, this would be a little bit better, but I, I, I just don't feel like it's probably be like a waste of money. Safe travel. Uh, well, next time we're by here, once we do rumble shots ammo, then we'll probably be able to grab it then. Alex, that'd be awesome. I, I am going to do engineering. Yep. That's what we're doing. I got to do something different. I, I can't keep doing skidding herbalism. It's, it's starting to drive me mad. I'm, I'm going to grab like cooking and fishing too. I'll be able to work on that stuff this time around. I, I haven't done cooking and fishing. It's been, a, it's been a few characters since I've done any cooking or fishing. So... You got my attention. Off with you. I've never really leveled it before, so it should be interesting. What can I do for you? Hi. Safe travels. Watch your back. Hi. See you soon. Great to meet you. See you soon. Ah, uh, the hunter trainer is outside on the hill, isn't he? Uh, let's grab cooking, and I don't know if that opens up a quest here or not. Uh, cook is back here. What's on your mind? Safe travels. Uh, we should also grab a mining How pick. Are you? While we're in town, let's grab a mining pick. Because there is a mining trainer over at the depot. What can I get for you today? Be good. Yeah, I, I don't mind. We, we can do some mining. I mean, I, I can do it. And I could probably, I don't, I don't have the 23 gold the Paladin had. Rip, rip 23 gold. Uh, but we, I could spend a little bit probably at lower levels to get some copper. Like if I, if I get a little bit behind, I can buy some copper, I can smelt it for skill ups, you know. Now that I can use the auction house with, with mining, we, we have some options. So I, I don't mind giving it a go. I, I'm interested enough in engineering and what it can do for us that I don't mind giving the mining a go. What's on your mind? Hey there, 
Watch it, it'll back. be something that will help the character feel uh, substantially different. And that's kind of what I would like. I want, I want, I want to do something that's like substantially different than what I've done before. The land. Watch your back. Interest you on the pint? Off with it. Yeah, it was 23 gold. Big bummer, yeah. Rip. All that meta progression. How are ya? Off we oh, there we go. We are all set. I, I should have had it on my bank alt. I should never have been carrying it around, but I got I got really cocky. I, I did, you know, obviously like short of falling off the boat, the character was not gonna die. And I thought I would spend it on the auction house long before the character died. I just got cocky. It should, all that gold should have been on my bank alt. That's all there is to it. Uh, okay, so we need a bunch of stuff. Need a bunch of stuff. Yeah, I, sh I should send myself some bags. That is doable. Uh, let me pop into the in here and I will do that really quick. That is a good idea. I'll, I'll probably also send like a gold, you know. I'll send a gold so that I can trade my abilities and maybe buy a gun. Yeah, I'll send a little bit of money. Let me pop over really quick. I could look for a cheap gun on the auction house and send that. Let, let's uh, let's go have a look. I, I think my bank alt has like eight or nine gold. Nine gold, okay. Let's go take a look. Uh, I should have... Do I have bags? Do I have bags? I should have some bags. Somebody had bags. Let me take a look at what I have. Greetings. Uh, I don't have bags. Oh, I could buy some, but Jesus, I thought I had some. Hmm, I wonder who had my bags. Go with honor, friend. Probably the Paladin. The Paladin probably had all the bags in her bank. It's a bummer. I think I'll just go with some 8 slots. We'll do that. Should be okay. <laughs> Bug tussle. Look at the comment above, man. I, I got, I got a pin comment up there. Take a look at it, okay? Uh, now the big question, what special character did I use in my E? Uh, it is going from, uh, from right to left. From right to left. It used to pre-populate like all my characters when I go to send mail, uh, but now it doesn't. 
so that sucks. There we go. And in an hour, we'll have any of that stuff. Uh, level 6 abilities, will I be able to afford any? Uh, I can get Arcane Shot, and that's all I can do. So that'll have to do for now. That's a good point, Alex. I, I could have done it that way. Mm-hmm. I have to tell Gathermate to stop uh, tracking herbs, but I don't even know if I know how to do that. Filters. Oh god. Herbalism. Select nut. Okay. Minimap. Okay, 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 we, we're good. Son of a biscuit. I'm not sure why she wasn't auto attacking. Does uh does Arcane Shot not engage auto attack? It's like she she gave up. I, I did Serpent Sting, Arcane Shot, and then she just stopped shooting. I don't really want to have to press auto shoot every time I want to shoot the the gun. That would be annoying. Let's try that again. Yeah, I faced away? Okay. Yeah, that's really dumb. I, I get it, I guess. Yeah. I I, I, tur I turned that like additional 5 degree angle to, to make it so the character wasn't facing the enemy. Yeah, I, I saw it that time. Thanks. Uh, so yeah, stra strafing thing is probably not gonna... I'm probably not gonna do this too much. Like, doing this runs the danger of also running into other stuff. Yeah. This is not... Not gonna be what I do. 
<laughs> we're not we're not gonna bother with it no because uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna strafe right into one of these guys you know or, or like a whole pack of them so I'm not I'm not gonna bother with that we'll just tank enemies to the face until we get our pet Yeah, ex exactly, Jesse. Yes. Yeah, and and therefore I'm not I'm not going to try to get proficient with it or try to do it at all. So once I get the pet, I'm not going to be not not going to have to worry about it. And, and it seems like a really dangerous maneuver anyway. Yeah, for some reason it felt safer in the cave. I think because it was like a narrow corridor, it felt it felt safer because I there was only one direction I could really go. Whereas like out in the wilderness, there's like any direction I could go. And there's potentially an aggressive mob in every direction I could go. And so like no matter what I do, like with my camera or whichever direction I decide, like it's all equally dangerous. Yeah, I, I run into the leopards all the time just like playing normally. So if I if I start strafing around like a madman, it's probably gonna be a lot worse. But yeah, these <laughs> these levels are gonna be brutal. It's gonna be brutal. I forgot how brutal it was. This this might be just about as bad as the druid. It, it could it could be as bad as the druid, yeah. But I forgot that it was like this. <laughs> the starting area doesn't let you feel it. it. It takes until you get here. Like I didn't buy any food. I didn't train first aid. Like oh man, we're we're off to a rough start. We ha we have no natural regen apparently. Like basically at all. That's that's uh, that's super disappointing. Oh man, it's not good. It is not good. I I should have sent a dagger or or an axe, because what I really need right now I need more melee damage more than I need more range damage. We're doing melee more often, so I, I should have sent an axe. Ugh, I don't know if I can do it today. <laughs> I I wanted to do get this done today, but oh man, I don't know. I I forgot it was like this. It's because I played the Wrath Hunter recently, and the Wrath Hunter was like basically painless. This this is different. This is different. Be good. Keep your feet on the ground. And my my damage is so absolute garbage. How are you? I I got some. I I have this. I I don't have any food. He doesn't he doesn't sell food. Oh. Be good. Gosh. Okay. It's all about keeping my feet on the ground. Yeah, that I, that is that is true.
Yeah, I mean, if I could buy a new ranged weapon and a new one-hander, then I would, I'd probably be feeling a lot better. Like, you know, we're just dealing, like, we're dealing craptastic damage. As soon as we transitioned into this area, our, our damage went, like, out the window. It's craptastical now. Now I have to do this to get, like, any shot in that I can. It's bad. Agent Dad, good afternoon to you. Welcome to the stream. We need a two-hander. The problem is we don't have any weapon skills. Yeah, we, we have nothing. We have axes, we have guns, and we have unarmed. We don't, we don't have staves, we don't have anything at all. We have no options right now, guys. There are zero options. There is only Zool. Agent Dead, I appreciate that, man. Thank you. Thanks for being here and hanging out with us. Yeah, it, it was a stupid death, and I uh, got what I deserved, so... It's okay. We have to run from it. Like, I don't even think there's any universe where we can even fight it. We, we can't we can't really get range on it and have to take many shots at it. Yeah, we have to just leash it. I'm, I'm just going to hope that it leashes. <laughs> there we go. In, in the meantime, we can come over here and we can get our first copper node. That's exciting. If we can even get to it, it looks kind of uh, a little bit too high up there, but we'll see. Maybe Bug Tussle, but if someone asks you if you're a god, you always say yes. And you never cross the streams. Stoyan, I appreciate that, Ben. Thanks for being here, for hanging out with the stream. Welcome. Yeah, I think eventually we will get something. Yeah, you think we get an axe, Blood Moon? I hope so. I, I hope we get an upgrade eventually. It'd be nice to get one from a quest. 
e either for the either for the ranged weapon or for the one-hander. It'd be nice to get one of them from a quest. But we'll see. I really don't want to go into this cave, like, at all. These guys are level 7, man. I feel like... I feel like we should not even be fighting these guys. I feel like we should not even be fighting these guys. Bug Tussle, enjoy the humaning. And thanks for hanging out. We'll see you next time. I feel like I'm gonna get myself to level seven, and I'm gonna head over to Elwyn Forest or something. I don't, I don't know. But oh, I can't do that because I, I, my freaking trainer is here. I can't get a hunter quest from Elwyn Forest. Oh my gosh. No, I think I'm gonna have to, and then we're gonna have to hearth back. Uh, yeah, I, I think we get to level seven. And I, I have to go to Elwyn. I don't think I'm gonna be able to level here until ten and not get myself killed. Like, what quest am I going to do to get myself all the way to level 10 that are not going to get me killed before I have a pet? Like, I can do these initial quests, right? This is basically all I can do. And, like, even doing that, that is not, like, particularly safe for us. But, you know, besides the fetch quest to and from Brunal Village, there's not a lot I can do like this. Like, I'm going to have to go to Elwyn and work on, like, the initial stuff over that way. I'll be surprised if I can if I can do this quest. This is like pushing the threshold of what we can do. Like, I, I really need to focus on doing the boars and the bears. And then I think I need to go to Elwyn. And then I, I can leave the Hearthstone set here at the uh, Stout Logger Inn or whatever it is. And then whenever we hit 10, we can just hearth back right away. And do the uh, do the hunter quest right away. Like, I, I won't change the Hearthstone. Uh, I'll leave it set over here. Yeah, Joey, the, the run sucks for a lot of reasons. Also, think about us. Think about, like, a dwarf hunter, right? We we don't have bows. So if we want to use bows, we have to get to Darnassus. So we'd have to do the wetlands run. Uh, you know, like, a night elf would have to do the wetlands run to leave. A dwarf hunter would have to do the wetlands run to be able to use bows, like, anytime south of, like, level 25. So, yeah. Like, not having easy conveyance to Darnassus is, uh, is, is like, a really, really bad thing. I, I wish we can get like a quality of life boat from uh, from somewhere else. Like we need to put the stormwind. The stormwind harbor needs to be put in the classic era, so that we can have a boat that takes us to uh, Aberdeen. That would be really nice. Oh yeah, I'm definitely just gonna get bows later. It just sucks because early on you could come across some really good bows. I have green bows drop all the time. I never have guns drop, but I, ha I have like light bows, light bows, I get, I get those to drop all the time at low levels. So it's going to suck because we're going to get all kinds of bow drops, but unless I have somebody escort me through the wetlands, like I'm not going to be able to do the run until like at least level 19 or 20. It's just a huge pain. Eventually I might just break down and have somebody escort me. It depends on if I get any really good bows and what level I'm at when I get them. The loincloths do drop off, I guess. Thankfully. 
Alex, I appreciate that, man. Yeah, I'll, I'll let you know. It, it'll, it'll depend on, like, if we get a bow and, like, what level we are if that happens. Because, like, if I can make decent guns, then I can just do that. But I, I know I get bows to drop all the time. I need to head over to Brunal Village to pick up the Bitter Rivals quest. That way we can at least get that one going. It's a, it's a lower level, level 6 quest. <laughs> Galarak, yes it was. And I brought it completely on myself. hard to watch too. It was hard to, to live through. It, it, it was hard to be at the wheel. <laughs> it was it was it was a, a difficult time for us all around. Mm -hmm. We had so much time where we knew that it was over. That was the painful part. the pin comments actually working yeah it is people always love to see a death you know in, in wow in hardcore wow people always love to see a death and and knowing me they knew it was they knew it was gonna be something really stupid so yeah i, th I think it's working to get people to go check it out for sure None of these boars have uh, any meat on them. Skinniest, most deprived boars that we've ever come across. We've got one out of four meats. Ooh, we had a little bit of lag there. Sorry guys, YouTube is taking a dump. It's uh, oh, no, it's still bad. Still laggy. I would advise uh, a reload if you're if you're having problems. Let's see the bit the bit rate spiking. We, we got twenty thousand. I'm not set to twenty thousand. Seven thousand. We're waiting for it to stabilize. We dropped some frames. Yeah. We we dropped some frames. I think we're green now. Yeah, nope nope we're not green.
Onaka, as a newer player, I, I would definitely advise that you uh, play classic <laughs> and not retail. And then if you play classic for a while, then maybe check out retail. But I, I would always point new players uh, to check out classic first, either classic era or classic Wrath of the Lich King. What's going on with this gameplay? Just farming? Oh, we're doing quests. No, we're, we're, we got some quest objectives going on. You can farm if you want. You can just fight stuff. But uh, we have objectives that we're working on. Yeah, Joey, you came back to WoW after not playing for a long time and retail was confusing. It's okay, I get confused from patch to patch. Like, if I take a patch off of retail, by the time the next patch comes out and I jump back into it, it's confusing to me. And I've played the game for 20 years. Yeah, it's it's not very, like, clear or transparent of what you're supposed to do. Especially as, like, a newer returning player. There's a lot of stuff to do. And, you know, if you were to look up a guide on the internet, a guide could probably tell you what to focus on. But, like, who wants to do that? You just want to log in, you want to play the game. Uh, retail makes it kind of hard to do that. Yeah, once you get dumped in the major city, it's super confusing. You open the map and you have like exclamation marks everywhere. One thing wants you go to the trading post, you don't even know what the trading post is. Another thing is trying to get you to go talk to the uh, to the riding vendor so you can learn riding. Uh, another thing is telling you to go talk to Chromie to do time walking, but you don't know what the hell time walking is, so you don't know why you'd want to go talk to Chromie. And, and suddenly you're just wondering why you've been dropped in the middle of the city and why you're not out like exploring the world adventuring and having fun times. Yep, that's how that's how a player starts in, in retail. Y you play Exile's Reach, which is which is a pretty decent opening scenario, but then you get dumped in your faction's major city where like things are super confusing and there's so much stuff to do that you can easily just get sidetracked and, and not even get going in your journey at all. I, I wish they would I wish they would get get rid of Exile's Reach and just dump people back in their starting zones and let them have like the natural experience. The only problem with that is those are cataclysm zones. Nobody wants to be leveling in Cataclysm Zones in retail after, like, 15 years. Talk to me! So yeah, it's in a rough state for new players especially, but even for returning people, like, retail's in a really rough state. Be good. What's on your mind? Uh, okay, let's see. We, we need one more chunk of boar meat before we go back. It could be pretty easy. One more piece of meat off of an animal. That's all we need. This guy is level 8, and uh, I, I don't think we can take him. How messed up is that? <laughs> this guy is level 8, and I, and I think I have to run from him. Because I honestly don't think we can fight him. Uh, that is uh, super messed up, but it seems to be true regardless. Yeah, we, there's no way we could fight that guy. He, he was going to chew us up and spit us out if I tried to fight him. Crazy, crazy, crazy. I want to get one more piece of meat and then I want to get the heck out of here. And we'll take ourselves over to Elwyn Forest. And we'll try to get to level 10 over there. Can I fight this guy? Level 7. Uh, it's, it's questionable. Like, if everything goes my way, which it's not going to when I'm running at a wall, like, yeah, this is still going to be super sketchy. Okay, we, we might be okay. Maybe. <laughs> Joey. Yeah, that, I, I think a lot of people have that experience too. 
You were doing BFA stuff, everything was fine. Once you did a dungeon run, everything was all over the place. You were level 40, your tank was 11. Mobs are everywhere, you couldn't see yourself. Yes. That's the hey, just wait till you do a raid. <laughs> Talk about not being able to see yourself. Uh, if you do a if you do a 25 man raid, you won't be able to see yourself or the boss or your teammates or the ground effects you're standing in. Y you won't know what's going on or why it's happening or where you're at. And that's basically how retail is right now. Nah, he doesn't need to do that, foodie. He doesn't need to do that. He, he, he started playing the game, he said he was having a fine time, and then suddenly he encountered what we like to call friction. And sometimes when a player encounters too much friction in a game, they bounce off of it. Nah, I, don't, I don't think he has to do that at all. He was looking for an experience, he, he got the exact experience that he got, and it's not his fault. And the burden of enjoying a game does not fall on the player. The burden of a game being enjoyable falls upon the game. Not on the player. <laughs> the player should not have to go out and do research to enjoy a fucking game. It's okay for you to feel that way and for you to feel like that's what's good for you. But it's not okay for everybody. A player should not have to go do research on a game to enjoy the game. But that's what you're, that's what you're supposing. Then that shouldn't be the case. Not when you're getting into a game from the standpoint of a new player experience. It's not his fault the game does nothing to, to show him the way. That's on the game and the developers, my friend. I think you know that. I, I think you're a retail Andy and that's okay. But be, caref be careful trying to apply your own feelings and ideas to every single person. Because they're, they're not accurate for most people. You gotta play to do better, but pl that, you, you shouldn't have to do research to do better, yeah. The game, the game should gradually show you how to, how to do, you know what I mean? You, you should be able to pick up how to do by doing. You shouldn't be met by such a cluster experience that you think, what the hell is going on? What is happening? Where am I and why is it happening? Like, that's not a good experience for people to have. But when people fire up a five man, especially a five man in retail, that's exactly what happens to them. Is they just feel like completely overwhelmed. Uh, they, they feel like, and then if they go watch somebody play on Twitch, they see them using 17 add-ons that they don't have. And now we're talking about having to do add-on research and getting your add-ons installed and getting them configured. And then, okay, maybe now that I have weak auras, maybe now I can go in and maybe I can figure out what's going on, what I'm supposed to do. I need DBM because since I can't see the spell effects I'm standing in beyond my teammate's spell effects, I, I have to have an add-on that tells me when to move out of stuff. Okay, okay, now I got that going. You know, and, that, and then five hours later, you're, you're sitting there wondering, why am I struggling with all of this when I can just go play a version of the game that makes sense? And I think that's why a lot more people play retail or play classic right now than play retail. Is I, I think that you people prefer attention. to play a version of the game that just inherently makes sense. Uh, that isn't a big struggle. They don't feel like they gotta look at something a dozen times to understand what's happening. They can see it once and kind of know, okay, I see what my ability does. I see what the boss is doing. Things are making sense to me. I, I think people who play video games want more of like that kind of experience. Watch your back. Where like they, where it just kind of makes sense. Where, where it's not initially super effing confusing. Whenever you, whenever you have an experience that's just right away it's super confusing, it just creates a point of friction that a lot of players are going to bounce off of. And when players bounce off a game, a lot of times they don't come back to it. Uh, we need something to distract this guy. We're stuck on a wall. <laughs> it's been a day of getting stuck on things. <laughs> right, exactly, Alex. Yeah.
Ah, uh, the innkeeper has it, right? Oh, Joey, you already had a ton of add-ons and it was already too much. Yeah, and the add-ons contribute to it being too much. Because I, instead of being able to look at the, the game, back. instead of being able to look at the game, you feel like, I have to look at my 12 add-ons. You know, I got bars counting down, I got bars going up, I got, I got weak auras telling me what button I have to push next. Yeah, so instead of Safe looking at the travel. game and being able to make any sense out of the game and what's happening, you have to watch 12 add-ons. Listen for your add-ons to yell at you to do certain things. What's on your mind? Uh, Thunder Ale. I'll just buy- I'll buy every see, ale see. in the place except the ale that I need. It's- uh, we- we- I think ultimately we need both of them. We need well, one for the one quest and one for this. That's what it is. See you soon! Yeah, Terry, as a new player, you felt more supporting Classic compared to Retail? Yeah, if you in Retail, no one's going to support you as a new player. Especially if you're trying to do five-man content with them. Um, they're you. just going to treat you like garbage. Like, no one in Retail is really going to help you if you're struggling with, like, content. Especially, like, of the five-man variety where people are trained that they have to run it all like a Mythic plus 20 key. Safe travels! Like, it's just the, the community is not there for it, you know? Whereas if you're in a dungeon run in, in Classic, like, it's more likely that people are going to help you or be patient with you or show you the way. Alright, he's out of here. We can grab the keg. Booty, that might be a you thing. <laughs> are, are you telling people things in those dungeons that you get kicked out of that are that are wholly incorrect pieces of information? <laughs> Could just be a you thing. In, in retail, nobody's even looking at chat. They're just kicking people whenever they want for, for different reasons. You know, you didn't go fast enough or heal enough. You didn't know the shortcut. They're not, they're not really looking at anything much. Uh, we trained level 6, we're good there. Let's... let's go turn this one in over at the depot. Right? Don't we have a depot quest? Yes. No. We don't. We need one more chunk of boar meat. Okay. Okay. Let, let's... let's get the chunk of boar meat. Let's get this turned in. We will find one well piece of boar meat. Met. On Safe one of these boars. Be good. Eventually. Eventually it'll happen. Yeah, and, and and we haven't even touched on that, Alex. The whole the point that yeah, the point is that the journey in retail is also empty. That's one of the, that's one of the biggest reasons why I don't refer new people to retail. It's it's not just that it's retail is super confusing for new players. It's not just that it's inscrutable to anyone from the outside. It, it's it's mainly that the journey is absolutely pointless. So it's hard to recommend someone go play an MMORPG when the RPG part of it is basically non-existent. That's like my biggest gripe with retail. Like, it's, it's, the, it's just the reason why I don't tell people to go check it out as a new player, you know? Because I feel like to enjoy retail, you need a solid group of static friends, or you need to be in a really good guild that's super active and willing to help you. And a lot of solo people who come new into WoW, they don't have that. If someone is new to WoW, they typically don't have a bunch of real-life friends that play WoW. If someone is new to WoW, they're not going to wind up in a really good guild right away. And so I, when, when someone's new or returning, that's one of the biggest reasons why I point them towards Classic, because Classic has a huge journey. It feels like an RPG journey. The things you do feel meaningful for your character, and you can have as much of that experience solo as you want to. You're, you're free to be a solo player and you have a big chunk of gameplay that is a big journey that can feel meaningful to you, even if you want to play solo most of the time. What can I do for you? See you soon! Alright, I, I think now... Now is the time that we go. Now is the time that we go to Elwyn. Yeah, right now. So let's, our hearthstone is set here. We're going to leave, our, leave it set here. And we're going to get ourselves on the tram. Yeah. 
Yeah, I, I think that I think that a world revamp would probably fix a lot of things that are wrong with the uh, with the intro new player experience for retail. Like whenever they do a world revamp, I think that'll like that'll probably smooth out the introductory leveling so that like it, it won't be so jarring uh, for a new person because you, you do that opening scenario and like even if you went from Exile's Reach to being dumped in Northshire Abbey, it would be clear to you what you should do because your options would be still limited at that point. Where it goes wrong a lot of the time is it, it, it takes you from Exile's Reach and then it dumps you into like the major city. Which is a big cluster. In the major city, it's not clear exactly what you should do next. And then now you have chromie time. So it's just, it's just too much. I, I, I wish that, like, I feel like it'd be better, yeah, if they just, like, dump somebody from Exile's Reach right into Northshire Valley. Or whatever the race's starting zone is, you know? Like, take them to the starting zone. The quest will be linear for a while. Yes, eventually you will get to the major city, like, through questing. But at least by then... Like, you'll have had more experience with the game. You'll be on a, a, a questing path from zone to zone that will, like, kind of make sense to you. I don't know. It tries to do that with BFA, but there's so many opportunities to, like, wind up not in BFA content. It tries to take them from Exile's Reach and get them right into BFA. But at the same time, it's yanking their leg to go to the trading post. It's telling them to go talk to the flight guy. Chromie's got this whole board where you can pick basically anything, for, anything from the last 10 years to do. And so, yeah, it tries to give them an experience, but it ultimately it fails at that. make it so they have to level through all the expansions like old times i think that people's worry is that there's too many expansions now because in like the other problem is that they've made it so much not about that journey and then it's like so if they if they have to play through all the expansions but we're assuming they're leveling faster than they normally would it's like what what happens then is you only see a small fraction of each expansion but but to be fair that could be better you know even if all you did, like, imagine a leveling progression where you did, like, one zone in each expansion. Like, you did a zone in, you do, like, Elwyn Forest. And then you do, like, Zanger Marsh. And then you do, uh, pick a zone from Cataclysm, uh, Endgame Cataclysm. And then you do something from Mist. And then you, imagine a leveling progress where you do, like, one zone from each expansion to, like, get kind of, like, the flavor of that expansion. I don't know if that would be any good, but it, it wouldn't necessarily be worse than what you do right now. In like, in like, you you could pick, you know, you'd have the whole map. So like, you'd start off, the map would open, like you you pick a zone that you want to level in. Okay, cool. And then the the outland map would open, and then you pick a zone that you want to level in, and that you you get to pick each time. Oh, we're not making this tram. Oh, we, we, we messed up. We are not getting on this tram. A Facebook page? Blood Moon? Man, I don't, I don't even Facebook. I don't even know if I know the login to my Facebook. I guess maybe it's logged in on my phone. I don't know. Maybe not. I'm not, I'm not a big social media person. I would have made... <laughs> Foodie, I, I ought to kick you just for that. <laughs> you would have made the tram if you'd have played retail. If you play retail, we don't even have a tram. You just teleport everywhere. You teleport everywhere, stupid. You don't need a tram if you play retail. You're playing classic because you're dumb. <laughs> now look what you did. You missed the tram, you big dumb dumb. <laughs> <laughs> I should kick you just for that. I'm not going to kick you. Not for that. Did I get the Iron Forge flight point? David, you know I didn't. You know I, I, the good news is our, our Hearthstone is set back here, so I, I still have the opportunity to get it next time. But you know I didn't get it. You watched me not get it. 
How dare you watch me blatantly not get the flight point and then ask me if I got the flight point? Of course I didn't. Full bags, not getting the flight point. Yeah, like there's all kinds of stuff that you just know I'm going to do or not do in this case. Yeah, that's right. Hey, Justin's right. I'm a dwarf, so I don't have to grab it. Look at that. Huh? Look at that. How do you like that? Thanks, Justin. He's got my back. I don't need to worry about it. Now, now when I get the storm wind, that's when I have to worry. So now that we've had this big conversation, we can hope that I grab the flight point in storm wind. <laughs> Johnny, that's why the retail people can't run back to a dungeon after they wipe. They have no idea where to run because they teleport everywhere. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> they, they can't, they don't even know. They just gotta leave the group. <laughs> just quit the game. They once they wipe their spirit forever. See, Foodie proves it. So that I really don't know where the dungeon entrances are. He doesn't know where they are. They're at, you know. If we put him in Westfall, he might not be able to find dead mines. Is there no hunter trainer in the Dwarven district? I I don't think so. We we can ask a guard. That would be really nice if there was. I, I don't think they'd be able to give us our quest, though, would they? I think we have to do the quest with the guy outside in, uh, in Dunmoro. <laughs> I just queue. I just queue for the run. I don't run to the run because I queue for the run. Yeah, I got it. I get you. There is. There is a trainer in the Dwarven District. It's not going to help us get our pet, but it's good to know. That is good to know. Eventually, I will stop running circles around Old Town and we will get out of here. In the Dwarven is not Old Town. Yeah, Old Town, I, I just like to run circles around it, right, for no reason. Uh, okay, so I'm going to grab the flight point. I'm not going to forget to grab the flight point. Why do I feel like wh while she's swimming, why do I feel like the ponytails are doing all the work? Uh, I'm pretty sure she's being propelled by the braids. I I'm pretty sure that's how they swim. They're like propelling her. True story. <laughs> dwarf in water is bad. Yeah, we have to be careful about putting our dwarves in water. This this one has pigtails, so... Th these are going to help her swim and stay afloat. I think with the speed bonus, we probably could have gotten to the island without dying. That's where we went wrong, was the hair choice. We fixed it for this time.
David the Mechanome's gear hands spin like propellers. That's really cool. I like that. and trade. Go with honor, friend. Good day to you. See you later. I do for you. See you around. Safe travels. Have a good one. King's honor, friend. Be careful. A foodie, we can only hope so. Yeah, we, we can only hope so. For the alliance. Yep. I, I would I would love to have reasons to love all versions of WoW. But we'll have to see. But yeah, the, I have my fingers crossed. I'd love to be shown a future where I could uh, where I could play all the versions of WoW and enjoy all of them. That's what I hope for, but we'll see. <laughs> One minute in the forest, we're we're already under threat, and, and we're still feeling weak as ever. Once I get that gold, I can train whatever weapons we can train in Stormwind. I, uh, one handed swords, two handed swords? I really don't know what weapons we can use in Classic as far as melee weapons. Ah, uh, wait. We have to. We have to hit it multiple times in classic, don't we? We can equip anything except maces. Huh. Well, that's really cool. Have I played a lot of Hunter before? No. Not, not, especially not in Classic Era. No. Uh, we got a Hunter to level 18 on Blood Cell Buccaneers a long time ago. 18 or 19. She got killed by, by Murlocs on the Westfall Coast. Frost nova in place. And deleted. That was a long time ago though. But yeah, I think overall it's one of my least played classes. Which is probably weird to some people. Is it faster to fly between Stormwind and Ironforge or take the tram? Um, I think you probably you might get you might get different answers. I I think someone's probably timed it out. The tram uh, moves faster, but you have to account for like running to and from the tram, I guess. It depends on when you start counting. The, the tram is faster, but you have to travel to the tram. So yeah, I, I think most people would say tram is faster. Safe travels. Is it the same, Alex? Yeah, it's probably like, uh, yeah, exactly. Yeah, David, that's what I thought. It's just like waiting for the tram, traveling to the tram, like 
I feel like if you have the flight points, you're probably better off just to put yourself on a flight point. That way you can walk away, you know. You don't have to stand there and wait for the tram. You don't have to worry about getting off the tram. You don't have to travel to the tram. Yeah, I feel like if you, if you have both flight points, I would say take the flight point. It's just a little bit simpler that way. Well, although, to Alex's point, you have to pay for the flights. And the tram is free, so there's that. Brad, how did I die on the pally? Yeah, oh, I did die. Yes, I did die on the pally. If you'd like to know how, check out the end of the VOD from earlier. Yeah. I'll, t I'll give you a, a hint. It was a, it was a stupid way to die. <laughs> it was a stupid way to go. The tram has better snacks, no in-flight service. Fair, fair. I think I think on the tram though, you can expect it's all rat meat they're feeding you, right? It's all rat meat. Can I help you? Have a good one. Good day to you. See you later. Uh, Foodie, it's not a movie, but if you if you haven't watched uh, Hill House on Netflix, wa watch the Hill House limited series. It's it's really good. Hey there. See you later. Safe travels. Hey, AV, did I repair the car after the granny scratch? Nah. Nah, it's a 2019 EcoSport. It, it's, got, it's got some denting now, but it, it's, it's barely visible and it would probably cost me like two or three hundred bucks to, to get the door pounded out and get it bondoed and repainted. You need so something. yeah. Go with nah, it's gonna live with its little beauty scar. Be careful. None of, none of the, the clear coat didn't get cracked, and none of the paint got cracked, so I, I shouldn't have to deal with any rust. Can I show the audio settings for the game? I can, yes. Mm -hmm. That's uh, that's what we're rocking. Probably turn my dialogue down a bit. There we go. I realize I'm going to have the same problems here because going into the mine without a pet is really going to suck. Th this 1 to 10 is really hard. <laughs> why, why don't I remember the 1 to 10 being such a big pain in the ass? This is going to suck. Like, no matter where I'm at, it's going to suck. I, I don't think that, I don't know that coming here helped me very much. Because we're going to have to go into this mine and I don't have a pet. So, like, how's that gonna go? It's probably not gonna go great. Oh, man. Oh, I would... Oh, jeez. Hmm. <laughs> I could do Northshire. I'm not, you know, we've done that before at, at about this level. The amount of experience you get is basically nothing. I remember when we, I think it was the, the Forsaken Mage we took over and we, we did the Valley of Trials. 
it, it's ultimately it's not worth it. it. It would be better for us to grind on, on at level enemies or something. Because you, you just don't walk out of there with a lot of XP once you're level 6 or 7. I mean, a new gun would help. To be fair, a gun upgrade would be amazing right about now. I, I don't know how long ago it was that we sent uh, the mail over from the bank alt. But I I'm hoping that any minute here we see mail pop up and I can go get that gun. Oh shit, was the gun level 8? The gun was level 8, so I have to at least get level 8. And then we'll at least have a decent gun. Because uh, that's part of the problem is that like literally we're just not dealing any damage. So, yeah. <laughs> big problem. Not dealing damage, it turns out, is a big problem. Yeah, this is an amazing, uh, an amazing farm for Skinners. We are going engineering and mining, so... We, we will not be taking advantage of the infinite leather laying on the ground, as painful as it might be. Marina, I'm glad I could help with that. Thanks for being here and hanging out. Hello. Have a good one. See you around. Have a good one. Yeah, it should be any time now that we get the mail. I, I, I don't know what time it was when we went over. We've been playing the Hunter for two hours and 30 minutes. Well, maybe not. We, we played the warrior for a little bit, then I had to get a thumbnail made. We've probably been on this character for about two hours. So I, I'm hoping any time now we'll have mail. What we're not going to have soon is we're not going to have ammo. We have to buy some ammo next time we're in town. I, I don't even know if this will last. I'll have to keep my eye on it. All right, into the mine we go. I, I hope we get to come out of the mine alive. That would be cool. Uh, but there's not really any guarantee. Can I sneak in a hit on this ore? Can we share? We can't. We can't share. I don't. I don't think we're sharing this one. <laughs> oh damn! Just got beat out. Alex, I should always fill the uh, I should always fill the pouch up. Yeah, I should. I thought I put quite a bit in there, but we use it really quickly. A ammo management is going to be a problem. As a as an engineer, can I make ammo out in the field, or do I have to be do I have to be at like a blacksmith place? Do I have to be at an anvil to make ammo, or can I do that anywhere? I, ho I hope I can do it anywhere. Yeah, needing the anvil would suck. Oh.
Oh, we're Oom. It's the first time we've been Oom. All right, so now we're level eight. Now, when, whenever we do get the mail, we'll be able to equip that gun right away. A <laughs> noob hunter move, opening up with, uh, with, with Serpent Sting, which does not tag the mob for you until it ticks, and it doesn't tick for like a second or two. Lightning Spirit, happy Halloween to you as well. Welcome to the stream. Thanks for being here. Well, that was a boxed one. And we're oom. Nice. I think we have to leash it. We have to leash it.
and Jory, happy Halloween. Welcome, welcome to the stream. Thanks for stopping by. They are really nice pigtails, yeah. They have a lot of bounce in them. They have a life of their own almost. They're very nice. If you're gonna have to stare at the back of a character for 300 hours, the pigtails are the way to go. Random, yeah man, rip. <laughs> it, it was a terrible way to go. But in hardcore, like, everything is a terrible way to go, so... It figures. Uh, we are done here. Let's... I'm not gonna go into this cave right now. I, I really... I'm not digging the idea of going back in there to get gold tooth until we have a pet. I, I know that sometimes, like, other people are waiting. We could probably team up with somebody, but even fighting into the cave... Um, I, I don't even really want to fight into the cave without a pet so yeah let's uh let's go turn some stuff in back in town and just see like where that gets us A good one. To be fair, they are braids. I, I'm follically challenged that also affects my vocabulary when it comes to talking about hair. Yeah. Not only do I not have hair, I, I don't have sufficient vocabulary to speak of it accurately. That's how it you works. Need something? See you around. Have a good one. Safe travels. Hello. Inventory is full. Of course See it is. Later. Of course it is. My choices here are like go into a mine full of kobolds or go fight murlocs. I feel like I don't have any good choices. I just don't have any good choices at all. What can I do for you? See you around. I supply only the finest goods. All right, so, I mean, we have some choices to make here. <laughs> okay. We have some... I don't have anything that's any easier to do here than simply being back in, uh, back in Dunmoro. Yeah, the Cobalt Miners are the second most common thing to kill you in Hardcore. Yeah, exactly, emulations, exactly. Uh, I think, I think, um, I think we go back. I think we go back. I think that's the best thing for us to do. Uh, we don't have mail yet. It doesn't. It doesn't say we have mail. Yeah, I, I don't. I wish we had mail, but we don't have mail. 
I, I don't know when the mail is coming, but the mail is not here. Yeah, we could have done shit at the Stormwind, but my, my point is, like, it's not going to work us, like, very close to getting to level 10, you know what I mean? Like, we're just not going to, we're not going to get very close to level 10. It, it didn't do exactly what I wanted it to do. Uh, okay, so, like, we can work on the Wendigo mains carefully. We might, we're going to have to do this stuff. Like, this is what we got to do. We get all that stuff done, and we survive, and then maybe by the end of it, we're level 10. The, the mail has not come. I, I don't have a mail icon. Uh, I'm watching right here. And I'm just, yeah, I'm keeping my eyes open. Oh, shit! <laughs> Robert, the mail icon's higher up than you thought. Okay, we have mail, guys. We got mail. For some reason, I thought the, uh, the mail icon would be a little bit lower than that. I was watching this gap right here. That that was the gap I was watching. And then in the meantime, it was hanging out much higher than that. I, I don't know what happened. But we do have mail. This is going to help out a lot. I should probably even use some of the gold to buy a, uh, a melee weapon. Okay, yep, inventory. Oh, I bought I bought too many bags. I, I forgot I forgot we're a hunter. Yeah, I got too many bags. One too many. I will send that one back. There we go. Uh, let's buy some, uh, let's buy some ammo while we're here. Why don't we? Uh, none of you guys are general goods. General goods trainer is maybe inside the inn. Can I ditch the ammo bag? Uh, no. Not in classic era. Listen to this. Increases ranged attack speed by 10%. Uh, I can't ditch it. Not in classic era. They have bonuses that you need. So, yeah. You got my attention? Can I use two-handed axes? I haven't trained anything yet. I, I could train it now that I have money. But I would have to go to Ironforge to do that. Uh, we need bullets. There we go. Watch your back. Well met. On the ground. No, all we have is axes, guns, and unarmed. We have we have nothing. We start with nothing. Alex, I appreciate that, man. Yep, I have, I'll have to train uh, all the weapons in Ironforge next time I'm there. Which will probably be pretty soon. Uh, engineering. If I do this, I should be able to save some inventory space. Of course, you know, I just bought all this ammo. But in reality, I, I think I'm about to make uh, ammo that's going to be a lot better for me. Yeah, I'm, I'm about to ditch all the ammo that I just paid for. <laughs> good, good, good. Yes, very good. Yeah, we're going to end up ditching all the ammo that I just paid for. I don't even think I can sell it. Yeah, you can't even sell it back. I just have to drop it all on the ground. Because the stuff that I, the stuff I'm making is better. It's pretty sad. 
I should have known better. Chat, why didn't you stop me? I, I need the better ammo now. I'm only gonna make six. <laughs> Falcon, you were too busy trying to find the mail icon. Exactly. Alright, that's fine for now. Dynamite? Yeah, I should. I should have. Let's head out. Let's, uh, we'll be fine for now. Let's go shoot some stuff and see if it feels any better. Uh, are there any weapon vendors out here? I probably could have bought, like, an axe. Should we buy, like, a one-handed axe? Alex has a two-handed axe for me. But maybe, maybe for now I should grab a one-hander. Just, like, a white one-hander off of one of these guys. Um, armorer. What can I get no. Weaponsmith. Yes. What can I do for Just give you? me, yeah, give me a tomahawk. There we go. That's better. Perfect. Off with you. Let's get out of here. It's sad the Pele had to go. Huh. Yeah, it's pretty sad. I I'm sad about it. But, you know, long live the dwarf, though. At, at least we still get to play a dwarf. The Pally is dead, but the story goes on. Yeah, I, I have I have a good feeling about this hair. I mean, this character. I mean, this, this hair. I have a good feeling about it. That was uh that was a lot more damage, so yeah. I, I think we're I think we're okay. I think we're we're back to being okay. That felt like a big chunk of damage. I didn't do any kiting that time, so we should be good. Yeah, I'm not I'm not gonna go far into the cave. Look at that, he did not even get to hit us. So, that's a good sign. I know, I know, but I can't always be a Skinner. Just because there's going to be bodies on the ground doesn't mean I can always be a Skinner. I know. It's painful, but we, ha we have to endure. Hey, I mean, Lightning Spirit, if you're feeling the itch, I mean, there's never any harm on firing up a new hardcore character. There's never, never any harm. I'd say go for it. Oh, 
Wrath is great, you know, it's a lot of fun, it's awesome. But there is, uh, there's something special about Classic Era, and, and there's something really special about Hardcore, just in general. Ultimately, Hardcore is the version of the game that is most immersive, at least for me. I, I would love for them to one day support, like, official hardcore in, in other eras of the game. Like, I feel like we should have an official hardcore BC realm and an official hardcore Wrath realm. Because I, I would love to see if it brings that same level of immersion, I feel, to those other versions of the game. Or, we talked about progression servers the other day for, uh, like, a, a season. I, I would love to see like a hardcore season, a hardcore progression server, like every three months the next expansion comes out type of deal. That would be really cool. It is really sad that nobody is skinning this. Somebody should come here and skin this. Look at this. It's just a mass graveyard full of skin. Oh wait, Alex, is that you? <laughs> I sound like a group invite? How dare you? How dare you insinuate I need help? I think that was probably Alex on his bank call. Yeah, Siri, it happened. Yeah, we, we, we died in the worst possible way. We died in one of the most realistic ways I've ever died on a hardcore character. Which is that we were hugging the side of a boat and we just fell off the boat and drowned. Which is something that would happen to somebody. You know? It was a shockingly realistic accidental death. There are no life preservers on the boat that goes from Booty Bay to Ratchet. Somebody should like uh, bring that up. There should be like some lifeboats or some life preservers. If anybody had been working on deck, they could have tossed us something overboard, you know? But but the ship doesn't have any workers on it anyway. So there was no one there to toss us a lifeline or anything. Ter it's terrible safety conditions. I think everybody should avoid that boat, you know? I should sue the boat company, absolutely. I think I have to sue the, uh, the goblins of Orgrimmar, because I'm pretty sure that they're responsible for building the boat. So, yeah, someone should pay, like, an insurance claim at least. They could cover the expenses. Yeah, like, that, <laughs> the boat is safe, just, just don't get stuck in the side of the boat. 
The, the boat's safe as long as you're not like me, clinging to the outside hull. Hoping that everything is going to be alright, when you know it won't be. Yeah, it was a silly way to go. We're done. We're all done here. I don't need to keep killing Yeti. Uh, I, I want to go over to Brunel Village, though. So let's head this way. I do have enough Wendigos, and I've had enough of Wendigos, so we're getting out of here. I've had enough of the Wendigos and their wiggly toes. Absolutely obscene with their wiggly toes. I was like, why did I get three experience? It's because I'm in a group. That's how I know Alex is close. Say, like I got three XP for killing that bear. I should probably stop running away. Now he's running away from me. <laughs> First, I was running away from him. Now he's running away from me. It's an endless chase. Alex is out here skinning. Come back! <laughs> Come back! I'm gonna chase you all the way back to Karanos. Crater, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Thank you, man. The updated Wendigo models in retail also keep the wiggly toes, but it's higher res. That's like so that's like too graphic, you know. I can't imagine being exposed to those wiggly toes in like high resolution way too graphic. Should be censored. Nice. Thank you, sir. I appreciate it greatly. That's awesome. You have more. We're gonna have we're gonna have little inventory space after this is done. Thank you, man. That's awesome. Okay. All right. We got some higher level stuff here. Thanks, Alex. Let's see what we can equip right now. We could do the axe. We could do the chest piece. We. we <laughs> We have a quiver. Now I'm, I'm going to mail the quiver um, to the bank alt. Because we're not going to need that right now. Hands. We, we, we need gloves. And everything else is level 10 or higher. Let's go ahead and we'll use it. I'm not going to use it on the, uh, the non-green stuff. I'll hang on to it. And then let's send the quiver off to the bank alt. Hello. Whoa, you're not you're not the See bank, you <laughs> or you're not the mailbox. You are a person. Okay, let's send. Uh, probably the, the dagger's level twelve. We'll send the dagger and we'll send the quiver. This we can equip when we train it. Level ten is good. Level ten is good. Okay, that should do it. Oops. There we go. Equip the bigger quiver and sell the other one. Um, isn't the quiver for bows? For arrows? Or can a quiver be used to put a uh, shot in? Because that doesn't really make sense to me. Can you use a quiver and use a gun? Because my brain just told me that that would not be a thing. Am I wrong? I thought quiver was for arrows. And ammo bag was for bullets. That was how I interpreted it. It, it, it. Is that right? Yeah.
It is right. Okay. You got Thought my so. attention. Off with you. Lightning Spirit, that's awesome, man. Yeah, that is a good, that's a good run, man. You got a dagger and a bag already. That's awesome. We could go after the Shimmerweed. Um, I don't know if it's like a great idea. We don't really have a lot of great things we can do, like whether here or in Elwyn. Man, I, I, we did the Hunter the one time in Hardcore. I don't remember it being this much of a challenge to get to level 10, but apparently I just blacked it out. It was a mad dash to grab all the respawning crates. I'll take advantage of that. These respawn so fast, it's kind of crazy. Alex, I really appreciate that, man. Thank you. And just like that, we are done with this one. The increased respawn rate on the item really makes it easy, yeah, because once anybody clears out the enemies, like, the item respawns so much faster than the enemies do, that it, it does make the quests pretty simple. Yeah, that's as fast as I've ever gotten it, but it's been, it's been pretty easy recently. Keep your feet on the ground. Uh, going up here for the ore is basically a death trap. It's it's full of wolves. We don't want to go up there at all. Yep, we're going to do fishing and cooking on this character, and uh, we'll get back to basics. We'll start opening the streams. When we play the character, we'll start opening the streams with some fishing like we used to do. We'll do fishing and cooking at the beginning as people come into the stream each day.
Vladislav, I appreciate that, man. Thank you for being here. Thanks for hanging out. The lurking bunny, thank you. Yeah. It was a stupid death. How Thanks for being you? here. Keep your feet on the ground. What's on your mind? Be good. Watch your back. Be good. Off with you. Watch your back. Off with you. Alright guys, I will be right back. I need to step away for about one and a half minutes. I, I got a bio. I drank so much coffee. So give me one second. I think we're safe here. We're safe here, right? Nothing's going to come here and kill us. Uh, so I'm going to go AFK right here for one second. And I will see you guys on the flip side. Be right back. Famous last words, yeah. Could have been famous last words. It would have, it would have taken something really special to get us killed over here. But then again, we fell off a boat today, so... Anything is possible, I guess. We still can't take out level 8 snow leopards before they get right up in our grill. So there's that. Yeah, if you've never played WoW before, starting off on Hardcore probably is pretty rough. But if you if you approach it really slowly, and you take your time, I mean, it could be an okay experience. I would always tell people to play like regular Classic Era for a bit, and just like learn a class and get your feet under you first. Because yeah, I, I, can, uh, I can guess that jumping into WoW and jumping right into Hardcore is probably pretty challenging. Favorite class and race? Ah, uh, favorite class is probably the warrior. Favorite race? I mean, in classic era, it's becoming dwarf. <laughs> in, uh, in Wrath of the Lich King, it's probably blood elves. It, it depends on the version of the game, but uh, favorite class is, uh, is warrior. Basically, hands down.
Oh, there's level 9. Buffalo Bill, good afternoon, man. Thanks for stopping by. We got a random snow leopard. I think, like, all I can do is, is leash it right now. I, I think I have to leash it. We, we can't really stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with anything if it gets the jump on us like that, you know? Yeah, they're sneaky. They're just hard to see. Will I tame a bear? I think I might tame a boar first. Eventually we'll probably tame a bear. I, I like how boars can charge in. Kind of get into combat and engage the enemy right away. The dwarf did die, Buffalo Bill. Yeah. Uh, I pinned a comment up top, and uh, it was an interesting death. <laughs> it was the most mundane and realistic death that I've had in hardcore, probably since the elevator incident. Spiker, hello, good afternoon, welcome to the stream. Yeah, she fell off her cruise ship after dangling to the outside of it. Right into the middle of the ocean. Off the coast of Duratar it happened. We were within sight of the island that we could we could have saved ourselves. If only we had reached the island. I think that was the island where the warriors do their fury stance quest, wasn't it? If she'd clung to the boat for even a moment longer, we might have made it. We do have a Discord. To be in the Discord, you have to have a character in the guild. That's that's my only my only stipulation these days for getting Discord access. 
is that you have to have a character in one of our many guilds. We have a guild in Hardcore Alliance, we have a guild in Hardcore uh, Horde, we have a guild in Wrath. And the, the, the Discord info is in the guild information tab. Yep. On Hardcore, it's the HC Ramblers. Yep, on Hardcore, it's HC Ramblers. In Wrath of the Lich King, it's the Wrathful Ramblers. Oh god, we got a cat. <laughs> can we can we can we leash just the cat maybe? No, the cat's thanks to the person who cast thorns on us, we we might keep both of them. <laughs> I don't I don't know if thorns is really Oh no, he evaded. I don't know if thorns is what we need. Like I'm going to unclick thorns cuz thorns seems like a trap, you know. If an enemy's chasing you and you're trying to leash them, like every time they take damage, can't they reset their leash? Yeah, I, I don't think I want thorns on me. It seems like a bad idea. Wrath of the Lich King is we're on the Horde side on Mancrick, yeah. We have a we have an Alliance Hardcore Guild on Defias Pillager. We have a Horde Guild over on Skull Rock, but I haven't played Horde side in a long time. And then in Wrath, we're on the Mancrick server on the Horde side. I, I don't know if I'm gonna do an Alliance Guild for Wrath. Maybe. Maybe. I, I won't know if I'm going to play any more Wrath uh, on the Alliance side until we know what's going to happen with Cataclysm. So after BlizzCon, after BlizzCon I'll know if I'm going to play any more Alliance side in Wrath of the Lich King. Because we'll know what the future holds. Potentially we'll even have some dates or a time frame. Oh, I have all the leopards I need. Usually the leopards are the things that I like. I do last, but this time I have all the leopards I need. And I need bears and I need boars. Oh, this is not one that we need at all. He is not an elder Kragbor, he is a regular old Kragbor. That's not gonna cut it. Willing to buy a concussion shot. about time we had some bandages.
Did I visit the trainer at level 8? Come on. <laughs> of course I didn't. <laughs> what do you think this is? Efficient gameplay? No, I don't think I did. Nah, I think we, we... I don't know when we hit level 8. It's, it's all a blur, but I don't think I visited the trainer at all. Got time to train. Yeah, usually I would have like if we had our talent trees, I'd usually have like two unspent talent points also. That that would be typical. Oh my gosh, what do we need? We need we just need a boar. Any boar. Any boar will do. I just, I don't really want to fight the mechanomes. Concussor Shot is waiting at level 8. Yeah, that'd be great to have. I, I'm really, I'm looking for one more boar and then I'm gonna, I'm gonna head back. There are no more boars though. There we go. That's right, I have Hunter's Mark at 6 that I, I couldn't afford at the time. I couldn't afford it, so we never learned it. <laughs> It'd probably help us out a little bit. How are you? A little bit of extra Mark, damage. Get her back. Never hurt anybody. Be good. Okay, yeah, now now we're headed back. Let's uh, let's Go. empty the inventory. I'm not going to empty the inventory too much because yes. I don't want to sell any of the animal parts that I need. But yeah, I, I, think, we, I think we ought to head back. Uh, we have Frostmane Hold. I don't know that I feel comfortable doing Frostmane Hold right now. I, I don't know if we're going to have much choice at all, though. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe we ought to go try. Because <sighs> I, I feel like, you know, no, no way are we hitting level 10 with just what we have, you know. Return to Bellofits, uh, Shimmer Stout is complete. There's basically no way that that gets us level 10. So that's not gonna help at all. I, I think we need to see if we can clear this quest. I don't even know if this quest will get us level 10, you know. We, we might not get level 10 until we complete the gnome quest for the, uh, for the parts where the leopard gnomes are at. Yeah, I mean, I'd love to come back with a pet, sure, but, like, the thing is, I'm, I'm having trouble getting to the level where I get a pet. All my stuff in Elwyn is equally bad. We have to go through the mine, we have to fight the murlocs. It's it's all bad without a pet. Like, none of, none of it is good. So, I, I just have to see if maybe we can do this. It's, it's still not going to be enough to get us level 10. That's the part that's going to suck. We, we got a couple other people in here with us. I don't know if that makes it more or less dangerous. Well, we'll get the exploration ping really easily. Now we need to find enemies to fight. Maybe we can get some copper while we're down here.
I like how they hid this one. Very nice. Any minute now, the whole place will respawn, right? Like, everybody here is going to respawn any second now. We just have to wait for it. Maybe we should go back outside. Wait outside. Yeah, there we go. The great thing is these guys are ranged, so they're not going to run at us, and we can just stand back and shoot. <laughs> there it is. There's everybody. There's the entire cave coming back. A at least we didn't aggro too many of them. See, that wasn't too bad. And the cavalry showed up at the very end. Look at that, we're already done with the quest. It, it was super quick and relatively painless. Uh, unlike whoever they're chasing, they might be in for a world of pain. That's uh, pretty intimidating. A spear versus gun, who wins? I mean, it depends on how close you are to the person with the other weapon. If you're with, if you're within four feet, probably the spear. Oh, that's fun. Yeah, David, I feel like there aren't quite as many layers as there once were. Maybe that's why we're seeing more people.
I'm not sure if I've ever seen it snow here, Patrick. That would be cool. Yeah, I've seen I've seen it rain in Elwyn. I've seen it rain basically everywhere. I don't think I've ever seen it actively snow here. That would be cool to see. I guess I don't play here enough. Hi. Oh, safe travels. All right, guys. I have had a really good time. Despite the fact that we lost the paladin, I really appreciate you guys hanging out and jumping on the hunter with me. It's been fun. We are going to pick the hunter back up tomorrow, but I do have to get off of here for the evening. The sun is going down, and it is Halloween night, and dinner beckons. But yeah, we'll be back on tomorrow. We're going to play more of the hunter. We're going to get our pet. We're going to keep going. Thank you guys very much for being here today. I hope to see you again tomorrow. As always, take care of yourselves out in the real world and take care of each other. And we will see you back in Azeroth again very soon. Bye for now.